Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining here today. We're going to get started. Thanks for the heart. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to get started here today and we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am going to start out in the half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you as we are using our seat to help ground, relax, and soothe our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, if that feels good for us. We are using the down gaze to help bring us inward, to help us go inward, focusing on self. As we take a deep breath in, hold the breath, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe out palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward, allowing our upper parts of our bodies to soothe. As we take a couple of silent breaths in. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels. Taking a moment to notice how the silence feels. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, finding our bodies in our seated salute, fingertips reaching up towards the heavens, our shoulders flows up towards our ears, allowing our spinal cord to get nice and elongated here. And maybe we can interlace our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, slightly leaning our arms towards the back. Our heart chakra comes open, our chin slightly up. We are in a slight back bend here. We're gonna hang out here for four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our body to center. We're gonna separate our hands coming into that seated extended mountain. Noticing how this feels within our bodies. As we twist our bodies towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Four breaths. We are soothing and relaxing our spine. Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center, coming into a seated star. Our palms are out towards the side, twisting our bodies towards the left. Breathing our palms downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Spinal twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. Palms are off towards the side. As we breathe our palms slightly closer, we're gonna come back into that seated extended mountain. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, may we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Breathe in. Exhale. As we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration, may we hang out here for a couple breaths, just allowing in and welcoming in whatever is soothing and needed in our lives. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms together, coming into that seated salute. Breathing our palms downward to our seated prayer, shall I say. Nice and slow, relaxing those shoulders downward away from our ears. Palms are at heart center. As we are taking this time to simply go inward and thank ourselves for showing up here today in our practice. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms downward towards the earth, our hands 
are connected to our environment. We are going to take a moment, if we choose, to simply notice and be aware of what is going on around us right here, right now. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on around us without judgment, simply being aware. We're going to hang out here for two breaths, tapping in to our environment. Breathe in, exhale. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming back into that salute, palms are together. Exhaling our palms out towards the side. We're gonna work on our upper parts of our bodies here. We're gonna rotate our arms to the front. Forward rows here. And we can go nice and slow or fast. We can go small or big circles. Whatever you choose, four breaths. Tummy's tight, spinal cord is nice and long. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, and we're gonna rotate our arms opposite direction. Going slow or fast, big or small. Two more breaths. We are filling our upper parts of our body, starting to get nice and fiery here. We are feeling a burn as we find our pause. We're going to breathe our arms, our fingertips towards our shoulders. Yes. Now our fingertips are connected to our shoulders. Spinal cord is long. We are nice and tall here. We are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies as we do a couple of shoulder shrugs towards the back, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears and rotating them towards the back. We are shoulder shrugging it here, working on firming and toning the upper parts of our bodies. Four breaths. We are feeling that burn. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, maybe rotate in the opposite direction. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe our arms back out towards the side, feeling that stretch here. We're gonna flow our arms above our heads, coming back into that salute, bringing our palms together, pointing fingers up towards the heavens. Arms flow slightly towards the back, heart chakras up, chin is up, heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. This is a slight back bend, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center, breathing our palms back down at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Shoulders are relaxed and melted downward away from the ears. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Relaxing the body. And we're going to flow our feet into a bound position. We're going to bring our feet together. We are working on opening up our hips here. We're going to relax our bodies. We're gonna flow our hands to our feet, opening up that heart chakra, allowing our chin to come up, allowing our head to flow between our shoulder blades, finding our bodies in a seated cow. Four breaths. Noticing how this feels within the body. Two more breaths. As we exhale to cat, bringing that chin to the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to cow. Low into cat. Coming back to our bound position. Now maybe we are in a diamond, meaning our feet are further away from us, or maybe we are in a butterfly. Whatever feels best for you, we're gonna hang out here as we bring our palms and heart center. Shoulders relaxed as we slightly hinge at the hips. When we hinge at the hips, we may feel it deeper inside of your hip flexors. And we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes if that feels good for us. Noticing how we are feeling right here in our bodies. And if all feels well, maybe we can lower our torso closer towards our feet, 
going deeper into that stretch if that feels good. Maybe allowing the head to relax downward towards the feet. Only going down as deep as you feel comfortable. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half as we float back up to our diamond or our butterfly. We're going to relax here for a second. And we're going to straighten our legs coming into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Ensuring that our backs are nice and elongated here. Shoulders relax as we breathe our arms above our heads coming into that salute. Exhale the prayer as we slightly hinge at the hips here. And when we hinge at the hips in our staff pose, you may feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. We're gonna take a nice breath in. Exhale. Soothing and relaxing the body. And if we choose, we can reach our hands down to the lower ankles or our feet and come deeper into that stretch. We are in a full body stretch here. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our knees, torso comes closer towards our thighs. As we breathe in, exhale, melting the body forward, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. As we breathe up to our staff pose, relaxing the body, we're gonna take our right leg, lifting our right knee up in the air. Our right foot is flat on the earth. Noticing how this feels as we breathe our right arm up in the air, leaning our body towards the left. We're gonna lean forward and we're gonna wrap our right arm around our leg. Noticing how this feels here. We are in our Sage Marici one. And if all feels well, we can take our left hand and bring it behind our backs, interlacing our fingertips together. And we can also, this is an option, we can breathe this left leg inward, crossing it inward. And we are still in our stage Marici. So maybe we can try them and see which one feels best for us. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingertips, we're gonna unwrap that leg. We're gonna straighten our leg, coming back into that staff pose as we slightly come into a half forward fold. Hinging at the hips, noticing how this feels as we flow completely down into that complete seated forward fold. Torso comes towards the thighs, two breaths. Exhale into half as we float back up to our staff pose. Taking our left leg, left knee is in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to work on our stage Marici opposite side. Taking our left arm, lifting it up in the air, leaning our bodies towards the right, leaning forward, lowering that arm a little. We're going to wrap this left arm around that left knee. We are in our stage Marici one here. And we can hang out here if this feels good, or we can go deeper, taking our left hand, bringing it behind our backs, and interlacing our fingertips together. We are in our Sage Marici one opposite side. We have that right leg straight, but we can also option to bring that right leg inward and allowing the body to relax. And we have our torso up and our chin slightly up with our eyes closed. We are in our Sage Marici one. However, if anybody has their torso kind of leaned forward towards their thigh and their head relaxed downward, that is actually considered a Sage Marici too. So may you flow into anyone that feels best for you. Two more breaths. Mm. As we slowly uninterlace our fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg and we're gonna straighten out that leg, flowing our bodies back into that staff pose as we breathe our arms up to our salute, feeling that stretch. Exhale the prayer. 
with our palms at heart center. We're going to hinge at the hips if that feels good for us. As we breathe in, exhale. Allowing our torso to flow closer towards our thighs. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our knees. Maybe even reaching our palms downward towards our feet or our ankles. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold as we flow back up to our staff pose. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles, finding our bodies in a table. Top pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Tummies are nice and tight here. And we're going to drop down, flowing into our cow. Chin is slightly up. Noticing how this cow pose feels within the body. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Two breaths. Cat pose. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. And may we find our pause at center. And we're gonna hang out here just for a second, ensuring that we feel okay within our bodies. And if all feels well, we're gonna extend that right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, maybe gazing up at our right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle right on thread through the left heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Head relaxes onto the yoga mat. <sighs> Breathe in, exhale. We are in our thread and needle here, relaxing and soothing. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it behind our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the floor, whatever you choose, thread the needle, five breaths. Three more breaths. We're gonna unwrap that arm if it was wrapped. We're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back the table as we extend that left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. Gazing upwards at our left fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we relax and soothe here. Allowing our torso to melt forward into the mat. And if we choose, we can take our right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, knees or hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to cat, flowing back to our table. We're gonna hang out here and we're gonna stay close to the earth as we extend our right leg out towards the back. Right leg towards the back. Yes, we're gonna work on our sunbird pose here. Noticing how this feels within the body. Just trying to find a good position for you guys to see me at, okay? And if all feels well here in our sunbird, we can extend that left arm forward. Now we are in our complete sunbird as we are gazed forward. Filling our bodies balance and strengthen here. Four breaths. 
If we need to lower our right toes downward towards the earth, feel free to do so. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, right knee to left elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to sunbird. Knee to elbow. Back to sunbird. Knee to elbow. Back to sunbird. Two breaths, building strength. We're gonna pulse that right leg up in the air. Feeling that pulse, tummy's tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause, exhaling back to table, dropping down to that cow. This is a relaxing pose. Chin is slightly up. Exhale to cat. Lowering our bodies back to our tabletop and we're gonna sunburn opposite side, taking that left leg straight to the back, feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth as we are gathering our balance here. If all feels well, we're gonna take that right arm, extend it forward. We are in that full sunburn as we are gaze forward. Four breaths. Balancing and strengthening here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, left knee to right elbow. Back to sunburned. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, sunbird, bird, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna pulse that left leg up in the air. Tummy's tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Building strength here. Finding our pause. Coming back to that table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to our table. And we're gonna Hang out here just for a second, and we're going to allow our buttocks to come towards the heels of our feet. We're going to flow into a child's pose. Torso is between our thighs. As we extend our arms in front of us with our palms flat on the earth, we are in a wide-legged extended child's pose. Allowing that heart chakra to come towards the earth, allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead, to connect to the earth. As we breathe in, exhale. We're gonna relax and soothe here in our child's pose for five breaths. Yeah. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this position here. Yes, using our palms to push our torsos forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. And we are spinal waving and you may feel this through your spinal cord. Maybe adding your head into the mix. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, finding our pause at center, coming back to our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, going nice and deep in this stretch here. As we walk our dog, we're going to pedal our feet left and right. We're going to find our pause. We're going to breathe that right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, gazing back at that foot. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, right knee to right elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. Lowing down to our dolphin. Coming on to our forearms. Allowing our bodies to relax a little here. Walking our feet towards our torso. 
You'll notice your buttocks comes higher in the air as we allow our heads to relax downward and we are gazing to the back of the room here. We are in our dolphin pose. This preps our bodies for headstand. Five breaths. We can pulse up and down on, on our tippy toes if that feels good here in our dolphin. Three more breaths. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna drop down to our knees. We're gonna flow into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose with our arms extended in front of us. Maybe bring our palms together and flow our palms over our head, coming into a prayer hands, child's pose. Five breaths. Mm. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Torso melts forward, eyes are closed, or gaze down. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, coming back to that extended child's pose. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, we're gonna do three spinal waves. Finding pause at our third spinal wave coming into our tabletop pose. And we're going to push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Hmm. Pushing our torsos towards our thighs, coming nice and deep in that stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Hmm. And we're going to find our pause. We're going to breathe that left leg in the air, free legged dog, left side. Gazing at that foot. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, left knee to left elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Coming on our forearms, coming back into that dolphin, walking our feet towards our torso. Pulsing up on our tippy toes if that feels good for us. Three breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow back into that child's pose. Hanging out here, three breaths. Maybe taking a nice, deep, intentional breath. Exhale. Allowing that body to relax and soothe here in our child's pose. Two more breaths. As we exhale our palms in front of us in that extended child's pose, if we were not already, we're gonna do two spinal waves out of this pose. As we find our bodies back into our tabletop, pushing our bodies back up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, we are in a complete forward fold, allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. This forward fold is a full body stretch. Head relaxes downward towards the earth. <sighs> Hanging out here as we breathe in. Exhale. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. Hanging out here. 
And if we choose, we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart and we can come into a rag dial if that feels good for us, allowing our head to completely relax downward. Breathe in. Exhale, rag dial pose, four breaths. And if we choose in our rag dial, we can sway our bodies from side to side if that feels good for us. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings if we are swaying. Two more breaths. As we find, as we find our pause, we're gonna flow back down to a down, I'm sorry, to a complete forward fold. <sighs> Exhale to half. As we flow up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, Palms are at our side. As we, as we pedal our feet, walking our legs from side to side, noticing how this feels. We're gonna find our pause here in our mountain. Standing nice and tall, our feet are planted into the earth. Our head, our crown chakra is ascended into the heavens, into the universe. We're just gonna hang out here in our mountain, standing strong, standing tall. Shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a standing salute. Palms are together here. Bodies are nice and tall, nice and long. Fingers are interlaced. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back up to that standing salute as we flow to our extended mountain. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. Whereas in our standing salute, our palms are together. Here in our extended mountain, we're gonna lean our bodies towards the right, coming into a sorry, coming into a crescent moon. I went blank for a second. We're gonna lean our bodies towards the right, flowing into a crescent moon. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. We are back in that extended mountain. As we breathe our bodies opposite side, standing crescent moon, left side, four breaths, tummies tight. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. We are in that extended mountain. As we breathe our palms together, coming into that standing salute, breathe in. Exhale, flowing down to our prayer, breathing our palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulder blades downward away from our ears. As we are standing here in our prayer, taking the time to notice how we feel right here, right now in our present moment. Simply being aware, simply noticing without judgment. Always being kind and loving to oneself. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming to that half forward fold. <sighs> Two breaths. We're gonna slightly bend our knees, coming into a chair. Working the lower parts of our body. We can extend our palms in front of us if that feels good for us. Or we can keep our palms at heart center. Whatever you choose, chair pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, if they were not already there, and we're going to chair pose, twist right side, feeling that body twist, three breaths. Two breaths. 
exhale to center. Chair pose twist opposite sides. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, two breaths. As we flow to a complete forward fold, hand reaches down towards the ankles and feet. Head relaxes downward, four breaths. Allowing the body to soothe here. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. As we breathe back up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, pedaling our feet, walking our legs. As we find our pause, we're gonna work on some balancing here. We're gonna work on our tree pose. Starting with the right side, taking that right foot, putting that right foot on the lower parts of our leg here. It's like a kickstand. We are in our tree pose. And we are balancing our bodies. And if this feels well and we feel nice and balanced, maybe we can lift that leg slightly up higher, slightly beneath that knee, beneath the knee. See how that feels. We can have our palms at heart center if that feels good. And if this feels well, maybe we can give it a try and lift our leg up deeper, bringing that leg up nice and high in our inner thigh. And now we are in that deep tree pose. And we can play around and do whatever we choose with our hand. And we can play around and have our feet at whatever part that feels comfortable for us. Tree pose, five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly relax out of that tree pose, we are back in our Tadasana. As we pedal our feet left and right, simply just relax in our bodies here. <sighs> Two breaths. As we find our pause, and we're gonna tree pose opposite side. We're gonna take that left foot, coming into that kickstand, bringing that left foot slightly on the side of our leg, seeing how we feel here. And again, we can have our hands in any tree pose position that feels good for us. If this kickstand feels good in our tree, we can lift our leg up a little more, going deeper on our balance here. And if this feels good, we can lift that leg all the way up in that thigh coming deeper in that tree pose. And we can play around with our hands in any position that feels good for us. Tree pose, five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. We are balancing and strengthening here. As we slowly come out of that tree pose, relaxing that leg downward, we are back in that stasana. We're gonna pedal our feet left and right, side by side, checking in with the body. As we find our pause, throwing our palms back at Tadasana, mountain pose. As we breathe to our standing salute, palms together above our head, chin slightly up, heart chakras open. Interlacing our fingers together, we're gonna allow our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. Fill in this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that salute. As we breathe down to our prayer, relaxing the body here. Breathing to our half forward fold. Feeling that stretch here behind our legs and our hamstring. As we flow down to that complete forward fold. Two breaths. Walking our hands forward, coming into a down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet left and right, walking our dog. 
As we find our pause, we're going to breathe our right foot to our right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. Hanging out here in a runner's lunge. As we drop that left knee down, flow into a low lunge. <sighs> Seeing how we feel here in the low lunge. And we can hang out here if we want. Or we can, if we can lift our bodies up, breathing our arms above our heads, coming into this low lunge. This here prepares our body for split. We have our palms above our heads, chin slightly up. We're going to hang out here for three. Let's make it four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling a stretch. Exhale back. We're going to frame that front foot. We are still in that low lunge. As we raise off that knee, we are now back in that runner's lunge. Extending that front leg, flowing into a pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts downward towards the knee. This pyramid is a relaxing and soothing pose. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, run this lunge, bend in that front knee as we flow to our down dog. As we walk our dog, head on our feet, tummy's tight, finding pause as we breathe that left foot to left hand, run this lunge opposite side. <sighs> Noticing how we feel here in this runner's lunge. As we drop that right knee down, now we are in our low lunge. And we can hang out here if this feels good for us. Or we can low up, lifting that torso away from the thigh, breathing our arms above our heads, feeling this stretch, interlacing our palms together. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Heads flow slightly towards the back, arms flow slightly towards the back. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling this stretch. We're gonna frame our front foot. Lifting that knee off the earth. We are back in our runner's lunge. As we straighten out that left leg, flowing into that pyramid opposite side. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head relaxes downward towards the knee. We're going to soothe and relax here. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee as we breathe down dog. <sighs> Pushing our torso towards our thigh. Feeling that nice deep stretch. Walking our dog, pet on our feet. Hanging out here for a couple breaths here. Just building strength in our arms. Shifting our weight forward, coming into a high plank, hovering over our yoga mat. Tummy's tight, three breaths. As we exhale down to a low plank or a chaturanga, two breaths. Exhale down to our tummies, coming on to a, coming into a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Our tummies are on the earth. And the Sphinx pose is a slight back bend, but we're also relaxing and we are soothing here with our shoulders melted away from the ears. We don't want to have our shoulders shrugged here. Have a control of our backs, gazing forward. Eyes are gazed down or closed. As we breathe in, exhale. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into a baby cobra. We're gonna bring our palms to our torso. 
Yes. We're going to push our torso slightly away from the earth. We are in our baby cobra here. We are gaze forward. As we push our bodies up to our cobra, in our cobra, we're simply straightening our elbows a little more. This is a deeper back bend. Maybe our head relaxes between our shoulder blades if that feels good for you. As we flow to an up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. Now we are in that up dog. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're going to lift our bodies up and we're going to flow into a warrior two. Lifting up that torso, coming into our warrior two. Hanging out here in warrior, feeling like we are warriors here. <sighs> Holding a pose. Two more breaths. Exhale into warrior one or high lunge, whatever feels best for you. High lunge or warrior one. Three breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. <sighs> As we breathe, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle or extended side angle, whatever you choose. Three breaths. <sighs> Twisting our body forward. We're going to come into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. <sighs> Head relaxes over that thigh. Three breaths. Breathing back to run his lunge. Exhale, down dog. And we're going to walk our dog for three breaths. As we pause, and we're going to breathe that left foot to left hand, run his lunge opposite side. Lifting our torso up, we're going to flow into that warrior two. Filling our bodies. Strengthen here. Stretch and relax. Feeling like warriors because we are warriors here. <sighs> two more breaths. Exhale into warrior one. Or high lunge, if that feels good. High lunge or warrior one. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. Fill in a movement. Two more breaths. As we breathe to reverse warrior. Two breaths. Exhale into side angle or extended side angle, whatever you choose. Two more breaths. Twisting the body forward, framing that front leg. We're going to flow into a pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly bend that front leg, coming back into that front is lunge. Exhale and down dog. Dropping down to our pyramid, coming onto our forearms. Walking our feet towards our torso, buttocks gets nice and high in the air. <sighs> Dolphin pulls, four breaths. Mm. 
two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, we're gonna keep our knees together and we're gonna flow into a puppy pose. Knees are together, torso comes towards the earth, arms are extended in front of us, heart chakra is down towards the earth, our third eye chakra, our forehead is also connected to the earth. Puppy pose, four breaths. We can flow into a puppy pose, prayer hands, if that feels good for us. Two more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us if they were not already there. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. Maybe do three spinal waves. Finding our paws at table, tummy's tight. We're gonna drop down to cow. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose just for a second, we're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, bringing our knees in to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Our torso melts back into the earth. Breathe in, exhale. Allowing our shoulder blades to completely melt backwards and to the earth here. We're gonna hang out here with our eyes, gaze down and close. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we extend those legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles or invisible wall. In our case, unless we're near a wall, then feel free to put your legs up on the wall and hang out there, relax and soothe. Or we can also option to bring our hands towards the bottoms of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso. This is a full body stretch. Our buttocks comes off the earth. Legs to torso stretch. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall as we plant to flex our toes towards the heavens. Noticing how that feels in a stretch when we plant our flex upwards towards the ceiling. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our knees in, bringing our hands between our thighs, we're gonna flow into a happy baby, connecting our hands to our feet. As our spinal cord our back is being relaxed and soothed, massaged by the earth. And if we choose in our happy baby, we can rock our bodies from side to side, further relaxing our spinal cord. Or we can hang out still, we can stay still, we can play with our feet, we can squeeze our feet, applying pressure to the pressure points of our feet. Or we can simply Hang out and stay still. Whatever you choose, we're gonna freestyle in our happy baby. Six breaths. Three breaths. As we breathe our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose. We're gonna breathe our knees in towards our chest as we allow our knees to fall towards the left. Recline spinal twist, fill in this spinal cord twist, relax and soothe here. And we can straighten out that right leg on the top if we choose, going deeper in that stretch as we bring our left arm out, as we bring our right arm out to the side, like a T, and gaze over that right 
shoulder or gaze up at the heavens. Whatever you choose, our shoulder blades are melted back into the earth. Eyes are closed or gaze down. If that feels good, five breaths. Three breaths. As we slowly breathe our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale. And now when our knees to fall towards the right, final twist, recline final twist, opposite side. Taking that left leg, bring it out towards the side if we choose, going deep in that stretch. Taking our left arm, bring it out towards the side like a T. As we gaze over that left arm, or we can gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for us, eyes are closed to gaze down, five breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest, extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, plantar flexing our toes towards the heavens, reaching down, connecting our hands to the lower parts of our legs as we bring our legs towards our torso, our buttocks come slightly off the earth, feeling this full body stretch. Exhaling our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose as we breathe our knees in towards our chest. And we're gonna straighten out our legs side by side, parallel towards our bodies, finding ourselves in our Shavasana pose. Legs are parallel side by side, our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall towards the side, like a V, completely relaxing our legs here. With our eyes gazed down to close, shoulders, our spine is relaxed, and melt it into the earth as we breathe in deeply. Exhale. Finding our bodies relaxed and soothed, comforted and centered. As we take the next eight breaths, as we take the next eight breaths to relax in silent meditation. Three breaths. As we slightly roll on our side in our fetal pose, maybe keeping our eyes gazed down or closed if that feels good for us. Three breaths, fetal pose. Two breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes and rotate our ankles, we're gonna use our top hand to push our torsos off the earth, away from the earth. As we cross our feet in a, any easy seat that feels good for you, but I'm gonna come into a cow face, crossing my legs, my knees on top of each other. Feet are off to the side here in the cow face, but may you find any pose that you choose as our buttocks is connected to the earth, our tummies are tight, our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, shoulders are melted downward away from the ears, our chin is relaxed, 
our facial muscles are relaxed, our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I'd like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.